Hey guys, this is Rupa and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to answer for the question, what is behavioral theory of a firm? What are its advantages of a firm? And I'm going to explain you about behavioral theory in detail. Let's get started. Introduction of behavioral theory of a firm. The behavioral theory of the firm appeared in the 1963 book, A Behavioral Theory of the Firm by Richard M. Syed and James G. March. Definition of Behavioral Theory Behavioral theory of the firm is a composition of a number of theories that have emerged within economics, sociology, business and management studies to deal with the issues of how firms behave in a marketplace and what determines the inter-firm relationships. Behavioral theory is also known as a decision theory as it explains the circumstances of operational decisions and the outcomes that contribute to value added. Decisions are interrupted as a sequential process which includes both rational and non-rational aspects and are affected by ownership rights and liabilities. Let me tell you about few behavioral theories. Number 1. Simon Satisfying Model The elements of Simon Satisfying Model are Firms have to incur cost in acquiring information in the present. Objective of maximizing either profit or sales or growth act as Constraints to rational decision making. One more element is bounded rationality and satisfactory level of profit, sales and growth. Number 2. Model by Syed and March. The elements of this model are Stakeholders have different and often conflicting goals. Satisfying behavior aiming at satisfying all stakeholders aspiration level on basis of past experience past performance of the firm performance of other similar firms and future expectation of the firms and business organizations behavioral theory of the firm is developed comprehensively by rm syed and jg march the model has the following sequence. The firm has a collision of groups with conflicting goals and interests. The process of formation of goals of the various groups within the firm. Defining goals of the firm by top management. Satisfying the behavior of the firm. Resolution of the conflicting demands and interests of the various group of the firm. The process of decision making, uncertainty and the environment of the firm. Comparison of the behavioral theory with traditional theory of the firm. This is the sequence in the behavioral theory of the firm. Now I am going to tell you the elements of behavioral theory of the firm. Behavioral theories of the firm include the following elements. Number 1. Size of a firm or prestige. Some managers may simply aim for working in a big and seemingly successful firm which gives them more prestige and honor. Managers may be motivated to prove their projects are successful. This can cause firms to pursue goals which have a high profile. It may explain why firms persist with projects which may not be desirable. There is a cost to letting go of past decisions. Number 2. Profit satisfying. Based on the problem of asymmetric information, owners wish to maximize profits but workers don't. Because owners don't have perfect information, Workers and managers are able to get away with decisions that don't maximize profits. Number 3. Cooperative or ethical concerns. 
Some firms may be set up with very different objectives to the traditional model of profit maximization. In cooperative firms, the goal is to maximize the welfare of all stakeholders. In this cooperative model, ideas of altruism, concern for the environment and workers' welfare may explain many decisions. The firm may also be set up with specific charitable aims. Number 4. Human Emotion or Bias The economic model of a rational economic man assumes that individuals seek to maximize their economic welfare with rational choice. However, in the real world, we are influenced by human emotion this could be discrimination based on bias and prejudice or it could be irrational exuberance and the perceived wisdom of following the crowd. For example, in asset bubbles, Martikis companies can get caught up in relaxing their lending criteria and lending mortgages to those at risk of default. However, in the real world, Managers and owners may behave quite differently according to their situations. Now, advantages of behavioral theory. Behavioral theory is a complex agglomeration of business and management theories that contribute to our understanding of the firm. This theory attempts to compensate for this narrow view and looks at what happens inside the firm. It also helps to know how the throughput takes place as economic activity. Behavioral theory plays a major role in understanding how decisions are made regarding production, scheduling and inventory. Other core concepts related to the behavioral theory are the notion of firm's competencies and capabilities, organizational learning, Accumulation of knowledge, cognition and motivation are how firms learn about internal and external environment of the business organization. That's all about the advantages of behavioral theory. Let me tell you the criticism of behavioral theory. The behavioral theories basically provide a simulation approach to the complexity of the mechanism of the modern multi-goal or multi-product corporation. However, it is a predictive technique, it doesn't explain the behavior of the firm. It predicts the behavior without providing an explanation of any particular action of the firm. The behavioral theories do not deal with industry equilibrium. They do not explain the interdependence and interaction of firms. This theory cannot explain the dynamic aspects of invention and innovation, which are their nature long-run activities with long-run implications. And no exact predictions can be derived from the postulates of the behavioral theory. Finally, let me conclude the concept of behavioral theory with a fine conclusion. However, the part describes the decision-making process and allocation of resources in large-scale organizations could be incorporated in and hence enrich other theories of the firm. That's all about the concept of behavioral theory of a firm. In this video, I have shown introduction of behavioral theory, definition, elements of behavioral theory, Simon satisfying model, model by Syed and March, advantages of behavioral theory and finally criticism of behavioral theory with conclusion. Hope this is useful for you and I will come back with more management topics. Until then keep subscribing my channel and keep liking my videos and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notifications.